Hi guys, it's Kelly. Um, I hope everybody's having a good weekend and a good day. Um, we went to a different flea market than we normally go to yesterday. It was about an hour and a half drive away, but it was really nice. It was huge. They had a lot more people. Um, I didn't find a whole lot, but I did find some, what I did find I really like. So, um, the, the lady that sells the paper that I get was there, and this is really heavy textured um, gray cardstock. You can t kind of tell by the noise that it's pretty thick. And um, this one is, is textured. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. I'm trying to get it so you can see what it. Anyway, it's got like a, a bumpy surface. It's textured. Um, I thought that would be pretty on projects. And then I got that in dark gray as well. And these were a dollar and a quarter a package. And you get, you know, quite a bit, quite a bit of paper. Now this one, um, this one was a dollar fifty, but I thought that looked so cool. Of course, it's going to be shiny as heck on this because of the paper, because of the shiny stuff. Um, I have to open it so it doesn't have that glare so much. Take a piece out and show you. Anyway, this was, um, I just thought this looked, I would have loved to had this when I did Miss Peggy's Horse, Horse and Around Challenge because I thought it looked a lot like, um, like leather. I thought that looked pretty on album spines and it's not as thick, but it, it's more, feels more like, um, material maybe i don't know it's paper but it's got a different feel and then i got um 20 pieces of the gold i got some silver when i went the last time but this time i found gold it's very thick um very thick and it's white on the back but this would be so pretty with like christmas greetings and that kind of thing um pop punched out of there so i got that um I'm going to do another haul video after this one. I actually made it to Tuesday morning yesterday. I haven't been there in a while. And oh my gosh, I was so glad. Um, this one is the white, but it's really shiny and smooth. That was at $1.25. And then I got some in the black for $1.25. And this is not textured. The first two I showed you was a light gray and a dark gray. And then I got some in the cream. And these are the real thick ones. And then I found some just regular 12 by 12 white. And it's really thick. So I got all that for about, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, $9. About $9. And then there was a um, gentleman who had these bracelets like this. And he was selling these for a dollar. Now, I'll probably take all them beads off there and use them for something else and give the necklace portion to my granddaughter. <laughs> this one, um, look at all the butterfly beads on there. That's a lot of beads. A dollar. And then there's a bigger one that's hanging off it in the middle. There. So for a dollar, I got all those, and then I got some dragonflies. There's not quite as many dragonflies on this one, but they're really cute. Um, then there was a lady selling, I call it junk jewelry, what's this called, um, grandma's jewelry, <laughs> but she was selling these pieces, I really liked this one, I thought it was really pretty, and then it's got like a piece of, um, what's that stone called, it reminds me of a, inside of a shell maybe, mother of pearl, yeah, that's what it reminded me of, but I got this piece, this piece, which has a ring on it that I'll take off, because I'm going to use these in my albums. I, I like using metal pieces, um, broken pieces of jewelry. Look at this bow. Oh my gosh, is that so pretty. Very sparkly, adds a, a nice touch to your album. Then I got this big rose. Look at that beautiful rose. I got all these pieces. And these, this is a pin. It's got a pin on the back, but I'll take that off attach that to an album that would be gorgeous and then this I just kind of liked these beads that are there's an individual one it would be like that I liked that so this piece was only like 10 cents and then the last one was this one 
and she wanted ten dollars for all this and i i told her absolutely not i would never give ten dollars for that and um i started to walk away and she said well what would you give and i said i'd give you five bucks and she took it so for five bucks i got one two three four five six seven seven good pieces to use in my albums so i was happy about that so, I'm going to put these up here so I don't lose them. Oh, sorry, guys. So, the other thing I found was a few doilies. Not many. And the ladies that did have them were charging an arm and a leg. So, I got this piece, which I thought was gorgeous. It's really long. Like, long, long. <laughs> My arms aren't long enough to show you. There it is. And then I'll show you up close how pretty it is. You could cut each one of these little square sections, and I like the way the edges were done. So I got that great big piece. It's probably like a runner or something it reminded me of. And then I got um, this one. It's like square with like rounded scallops around each little like flower in the middle. And this one is a little different. It's, look at that. It looks a little different to me. Maybe not. But each one of these pieces was a dollar. So I went ahead and gave a dollar for that. And then a big white piece with the, the really close, I mean really tiny, intricate pattern. There you go. How pretty. So that's my haul from the, the all day at the uh, flea market walking around for like seven hours i was ready to die by the time we got done and yesterday it wasn't hot so much as it was like so humid we were all like soaking and um, they had this really cool stand i want to tell you about it was um just you know how everybody makes the lemonade stands at the fairs and stuff it was like that but he was making them in mason jars and then he put the lid and the thing on and he poke a hole punch a hole through the middle of the um the seal piece that you seal a mason jar with um and then gave you a big old straw to put in there and he was making homemade lemonade with like you could have strawberry lemonade peach uh, blueberry black, raspberry um kiwi i forget the other fruit he had but he had just about anything you could want you could mix whatever fruits you wanted in with your lemonade so the kids wanted strawberries and lemonade. So that's what we ended up getting. And he had a small one for $5, which was a great big jar. It was a big one. And then a large one. And I mean, it was like that big of a mason jar. Um, it probably was at least a gallon or two gallons. It was a big one. And um, I think he wanted 10 for that. But we didn't go for that great big huge one. I didn't want to lug it around all day. So, But it was refreshing. And it was really yummy. So I thought, what an ingenious idea. And he had a line forever long, so what, thinking in, thinking outside the box, he, he's just selling his lemonade, but in a different way. Really cool. So, all right, guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.